It is fall. It is fall. It is fall. Today, Jesus no, sang it. Today's a good day. Jesus, Jesus already up and singing. We don't need any more dances. It's when you call in the big guns. Oh my god, I'm so sore. We're not heading to the gym right now. Fun fall morning. We're going to get fall coffee from Starbucks. Start what a dream. We are trying to. Um, we've been talking about delivery apps and. You know, we do a lot of delivery and we've been getting some coffees delivered. And we were like, you know what? It's just so nice to actually exper experience the real thing and actually drive to get yourself a coffee. Yeah. It's just something more, it's more depth about it than just getting it dropped at your doorstep. So we're trying to get we, a coffee. We go to coffee shops, you know, some, I would say like half the time, like after the gym and yeah. we like stop. But there's something about like leaving your house, going to get coffee and coming home before the gym or something. Yeah. That's what I did yesterday and it was so nice. I know. She woke up and there was coffee at the house and she, uh, you thought all day that I had home delivered. I thought that you had delivered. I don't know why. But I was Because we've never like driven over to Starbucks unless it's on the way home from the gym. Right. But I, I was up so early like and I couldn't sleep because of the jet lag. I know. Anywho. Anyhow, here we are. What are you going to get? Are you going to get a pumpkin spice? Uh, are you going to do our OG like? I'm going to get black iced black coffee. Black iced coffee, no, no sweetener. With pumpkin cold foam on top. And cinnamon dolce sprinkles. Oh my gosh, so good. Are you going to get some caramel? Um, Sometimes, you know, the caramel is a risk because they will interpret it one of two ways. A lot of baristas will cover the cup in caramel before mm. and that's too much. No, you could just, you just like caramel drizzle on drizzle top. Like, on a, top. A a little, like a little kiss. A little touch. Like a little ribbon on top of a present. Yeah, yeah I a know. A little trail. I know. I know. Yeah. Well, so we You know, I was just thinking about Vlogmas right. and we haven't we didn't haven't done a Vlogmas in Nashville yet. No. That's weird, huh? So we're doing Vlogmas this year. Well I don't know. You might put in your way. I I have been dedicated to doing vlogmas from like this whole year I'm like we're doing vlogmas at the end of this year we didn't do it last year and I didn't it felt weird yeah I think we we will do it but I don't want you to put aside your dreams for that I know I really don't but I, I also don't feel, I just feel like we I we don't have to talk about it on here because okay. they don't know what we're talking about yeah. but Cut that out. with it being in Europe mm-hmm I was just going some products. I was planning on taking a class in Europe, and I was wanting to do it for the past like year or so, and it's in December, like November yeah. to December, mm -hmm. but it was full. And I got a notification two days ago that it's open, that there's one spot open because someone dropped out, and that I was like first on the waiting list. But it's from November 28th to December 23rd, so I would be in France, like in like the countryside of France for, uh, a month yeah. and she would maybe come for part of it or all of it or uh, up to you but I just the timing I don't know I want to do vlogmas it's not the end of the world if I don't go but I don't want to regret not going if I'm never able to go again because we have like children or something you totally know? but it's a it's a uh, carpentry class I think that you should totally do it um, we'll see. I, I don't think I'm gonna go. Okay. It'd probably be so like, I bet it'd be like transformative. I think so too. I think it would be. But like, where I was going with it, it's not necessarily just about Vlogmas. I obviously want to do Vlogmas. Yeah. But it's more so the fact that we just got back from Europe. Yeah. And I was kind of tired of being there at the end. Yeah, but you just, you'd be like, you'd have structure. It wouldn't feel like you're not like bouncing around with like, 
a suitcase to different cities, like it'd be totally different experience. I, I know. You'd be like rooted in like one location. I just want to be at home for a while. I'm not, I feel like we never get just like yeah. home. We have October, we have half of September, October, and November. All at home. Basically October and part of November. Yeah. I'm going to this one. Oh, you're going to the, this one? Yeah. Got it. Uh, I was watching a TED talk and it was about this guy that was talking about changing your mindset from a problem mindset to a, so like a solution mindset. And um, anyways, he was talking about the epidemic of depression, anxiety in America and just it was supposed to be like a helpful like mental shift. Anyways, he went to Jamaica and he said that, you know how like everyone there, the like motto is like no problems. Like yeah. it's like they're all just like happy and vibing obviously because they're smoking weed and they're just like have a good like spiritual community, whatever. And he said, he asked the guy in Jamaica, he was like, I don't understand, like, how do you, it's, you guys don't have any problems because you're high all the time or whatever. He's like, no, we don't have problems. We just, we have situations. Situations are solvable. So that is way more freeing mentally because it's like, everything's workable. Situations, not problems. Yeah. It's kind of nice, right? How long is the line in there? Um, it's not too long. We just need a parking spot. To be honest, for the first part of that story, I thought you were talking to the camera. Oh. But I am kind of realized you were talking to me. <laughs> That's fine. It, it, it was neither here nor there. Both of you. But I, I caught the, <laughs> okay. I think I caught like the base, the it's gist. It's all good. Was, yeah. Situ I was mostly, you know, sharing. Situations, not problems. It's, it's right. really your outlook. Exactly. You, you can shift your perspective at any moment. It's powerful. All right. I hate, I hate this part. I hate this parking lot too. It's totally feel the same way. Never agreed more. Starbucks. Starbucks, let's go. Thank you. Cream cold foam, or popcorn cold foam on top. With a little bit of caramel drizzle. Just on the top. Just a little. Cinnamon sprinkles, does it already come with that? Um, yeah, a pumpkin yeah. cream cover usually comes okay. with that pumpkin topping, which is like, it's, it's like hazelnut? No, hold on. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Mostly okay, nutmeg. perfect. And, but it's not going to come with cold brew coffee, right? I just want no, the regular. No, it's not cold brew. It's iced perfect. coffee, right? Yes. Thank you. A grande okay? Um, yes. It's perfect. Anything else? I'll do the same thing. No sweetener. Same as that thing. Yeah. Except for, when did you go to Montauk? Oh, uh, we were there like maybe... Three weeks ago? Yeah. Or a month ago? Yeah. Yeah, it was so nice. Yeah. I woke up at like 5 a.m. so I could watch the sunrise over there. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's hey, so it nice. Yeah. Alright, waiting for a coffee. I feel like dancing this morning. Yeah, you know, same. I have secured the goods. They don't look as dark as I normally like them to. What's wrong? What's wrong? There's a little bit of cream in there. Looks like they added some cream. I mean, it tastes pretty, pretty it's delicious. It's good? Okay, good, good, good. It is fall. It is fall. It is fall. Oh, those, I don't even really like egg bites normally, but these smell kind of good. They're so good. That's right. Okay, so normally the coffee, they added cream to the coffee, which was not what we wanted, but... Hot. Whoa. I'm gonna pass. Mm. So good. So much for not eating in this car. Oh, my lid. No napkins. I keep, after I play golf, I get in the car. No, my golf glove's still on. Yeah. That's why I just throw them in there. And then when I get to the golf course, I go through my bag and I can't put my golf gloves. Oh. <laughs> well, there they are. There they are. But yeah. I. I I have like five or six of them in my bag. Oh, these are hot. Uh huh. Bacon and green egg bites, best. I think I'm hungry. Remember last night. Uh huh. Yep. We had a little snack farm party. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So, one thing we've been saying lately um, is when Booker goes to Uncle Adam's house mm -hmm. when we're traveling. It's on a farm, and there's a bunch of dogs there. 
And so we were calling it his slumber party for a while. Mm -hmm. I said, you're going to go have a slumber party with your friends. And then I started saying, and then I said. Slumber party the, at the farm. Or, I said, or like, yeah, farm slumber party or something. And then we like rearranged the words where now we say slumber farm party. And that's like, we say it about everything now. Mm -hmm. So we say, you're going to go have a slumber farm party. Some slumber farm party. <laughs> So now anytime he's taking a nap, we say, you can have a slumber farm party. Mm -hmm. Now we have like different variations of it too. <laughs> yeah. Or we say it to each other when we're doing something. Mm-hmm. It basically is like when you're excited about something. <laughs> a slumber farm party. Mm hmm It's all about how you say it too. Uh -huh. The inflection in your voice. Uh -huh. Here, give it to me. Try to do it on the spot. Slumber farm party. Slumber farm party. <laughs> Are you going to a slumber party? Mm-hmm. Slumber party. Booker is so cute this morning. That's oh, that's no. definitely our infl our voice inflection with Booker. But yeah. Like we'll be like, you're being obnoxious. You're being obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> I like these sunglasses. They're American Optical. Cute. Right. You know yeah, that yeah, famous picture know. of JFK on the sailboat? Yeah. He's wearing American Optical. So cute. What are you doing? Making this movie. Morning. I think I'm good. I'm gonna make a salad in a little bit. Sure? Yeah. Good. I'm not into you the know. smoothies lately. I don't know why. Maybe I OD'd on uh, them. Uh, Those bananas banana? are. Here. I think his dew claw's hurting him. Is it? Good boy. You love, you love bananas. Wow. Doing the norm? Yeah, but I'm doing extra spinach. Okay. And I'm trying to make it like more green -ish. Greeny. Nice. Um, let's see how the color turns out. I put quite a bit of spinach in it, so I, was, I thought maybe it would be green, but it's uh. It's nice and perp. I guess the. It's that perp perp. I need a tall glass. Let's see if this works. I might even have to put it in here. This is a lot of smoothie. Maybe I'll do that. It's already on a straw. That is a lot of smoothie. All right, I got this. I'm gonna force, force it down. It tastes good, but it's more than what I would normally want. So, <sighs> we'll see. Alrighty, I'm gonna have my brunch smoothie and do some work, and we'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, we are oh, back from a workout, and we went to at 45 this morning. Um, and had our second workout. I am very sore, and I can already feel myself getting sore from today's workout. But, um, anyways, I have a hair appointment today to get my extensions moved up, which is something I have to do every two months. Um, they are kind of hanging on by a thread, so I definitely it's time to get them moved up. Um, but I always love to get dressed for my hair appointments because I don't really like to get out of the house that often unless I'm literally going to dinner or something. So I'm going to do my makeup. So I thought I'd do that with you guys. I'm going to get my beauty blender. Okay. Um, but I don't think we told you guys this, but they lost our luggage um, on our way home from Europe. And we were literally like just so done. We were like so ready to be home. We were like, we like literally didn't even care. I was like, take whatever you want in the bag. Like I don't even, I'm so detached at this point. Um, so my bag, we Hunter's bag and our carry-on got, well, it was a carry-on size, but we checked it. So we checked three bags and um, uh, two of them got delivered. And of course my bag was missing. So all of my like makeup is in there. Um, my clothes, my toiletries, whatever. And I obviously have things here that I can use, but I'm just using like a whole new makeup routine right now. And luckily, I mean, I have plenty of makeup that that's not an issue, but um, anyway, so I'm just literally making do with what I have. So I'll show you guys what my like makeshift routine has been with my new makeup. 
gonna open that for more light. So I'm doing It Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Tan, which is actually so good because I am pretty tan right now. Um, that makes me look really tan. And it's really glowy. I've always loved It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, and I go in and out of phases of using it, but I love the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Foundation. That's like my ride or die. This is actually just like a different vibe, but I still really like it. So I'm gonna do that all over. And I'm just gonna go over with a sponge, just to make sure I don't have too much product. So this is the Laura Mercier Honey Powder. And my dipstick is also in there. So I went back to my Anastasia Rosewood bronzer, which has been like my ride or die bronzer for a long time. It's a powder one. It's like kind of the only powder bronzer. Well, I don't know. I really like the Gucci bronzer too. Got introduced to that recently and I really liked it. But anywho, um, okay. So I've done that and I had to use Sheep Tape. Um, concealer the creamy one wait no this is just regular shape tape yeah so use that with the cc cream and then the blush or the bronzer that's as far as i've gotten so what i'm gonna do next is rare beauty blush um these they did not have the shades that i wanted when i went to sephora recently but i just got the two that they have and i'm just gonna kind of mix them so i have this lighter one which is kind of light for my skin tone um and then this one is a little bit dark for my skin tone so i'm just gonna add a little bit of that mix the two together and i'm gonna just pick it up on this brush and put it right here i love cream blush in general um this color is really pretty mixed together i want the pink one that they um have but i think it's sold out so this have to do i literally just like put it everywhere this rare beauty mist which i really um like has like lavender in it mm, so nice and then I think I'm just gonna do a little liner. Eyes up mascara from Sport Collection. Let's see. Oh my god, shoulders are so sore. For my 45. Um, so liner and mascara, both Sport Collection. I'm just gonna do a little wing, brown wing on the edge. Not very in depth. I want it like really small like that. Okay, just a little Lena. And then we'll do this mascara. Actually, I love this mascara. When I put it on yesterday, I was like, oh, I miss using it. It's so good. And it's like 12 bucks. Really good mascara. Okay. That's looking good. I need a little lip liner. I've always loved this liner from NYX. It is in the color natural and it's a good lip liner i love the color nude beige but i'm a little bit tan right now for nude beige to show off on me it looks a little gray on me but when i'm fair or a little bit lighter in the winter it is the perfect color so i have like different liners based on basically like whatever season it is because they kind of adjust with my tan so this is a really nice color for right now. If you like spray tan, this is a nice color. If you're my skin tone, if you're in my range, these are the colors. And this is a plumping gloss from Sport Collection, which is really good. It is their 
outrageous gloss. Ooh, I can already feel it stinging. It's a cute little natural lip combo. So that's good. Maybe I'll bring that with me. And I don't think I want any highlighter. I'm just gonna go for like a little matte look. It's cute. Cute. Okay. Time to get dressed. And I'm very excited to show you guys something. A new purchase that, a new investment I should say, um, that I just made. So let's do the presentation. All right, so not very many things have really like piqued my interest. Ooh, that makeup looks so good, you guys. Look how like fresh, here, this is probably better. Glowy, the cream blushes, the it cosmetics, it looks really good. Okay, but as I was saying, um, I haven't really been captured by like too many designer items lately. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I've just kind of like laid off the like really big purchases. I don't know why, I just haven't felt as interested or the need to like buy as many things which i think is a good thing like a maybe personal growth um however i did see these and i was like for the first time in a while i was like okay those just they seem to fit my personal style so truly that i was like i know they're not just like a trendy item that i'll have for a season which i'm really trying to avoid i'm really trying to get away from like i love playing with trends and everything but i don't want to be like a trend girl because that's just like so up and down or like you can never it's like kind of chasing a dragon like i want to work on just like building my own personal style um true to my core like and everything that I buy should have a place in my closet for like a while forever you know like it shouldn't be just a moment in time if that makes sense so these I saw and I was like I have to have them like they are literally perfect um and they're so me I just knew it from the moment I saw them and I kept seeing them online I was like oh my god they they're following me everywhere and I was like I have to have them so they really lit me up so they are from Balenciaga and they are these are beautiful boots I mean they're so gorgeous they're a black point toe pump boot with like this hardware on them um and they definitely are like in the category of like my edgier style so I love like I have a couple of different like um vibes that I kind of like have in my style I've realized one's kind of more like natural bohemian textured um another one is like I love leather jackets like band tees sort of like harder edgier things um and then I have like my total comfy style and they can all mishmash together at times as well but I think this really fits into that like edgy category that I just love and I just thought they were so beautiful um very timeless like I have them forever they're so I like that they're kind of a statement but um not to the point where you couldn't wear them like with a lot of things so I'm gonna wear them today to my appointment because I'm like we gotta style them anyways no but they were um sold out everywhere so I actually got them before I left for Europe um because they were sold out everywhere I couldn't find them in my size I had a uh, personal shopper like source them for me so if you ever want a designer item and you can't find it you can have someone like do that I think the fee is like 150 or 200 dollars um which I think is like totally worth it because they'll just like do all the work for you literally like this is the size I want find it and to me that like charge I think is really fair and if you're already like up there it's like you know whatever so anyways um really pretty and we're gonna style them today so this is what we're wearing aren't they cute i know all right you guys i think i found the fit so i got on the boots obviously um this skirt i actually got from like a discount designer store here in nashville called ual it's a redone levi's and it was a little bit longer i think i cut it a little bit shorter just to make it my perfect length but any denim skirt actually there's one on revolve that's like perfect um it's on my revolve favorites and then this zara tee it's a knit tee see like sweater material and i just kind of did like a half tuck situation I feel like that feels really good and comfortable i just realized i like 
baggier, like comfy clothing. I don't like anything too fitted. I never have been that way ever in my life. Um, and that's another thing. Like I just don't like sometimes trends can, I think I have gotten caught up in the past in trends, like making me feel like, oh, I need to, you know, wear those things or whatever. And I'm like, if I don't like them or feel good in them, then I'm not wearing them. So um, I think that's just like the day and age of Instagram, which brings me to my next thought, which is normally I feel like I would just stop here. And this is like really cute and it's a very chic outfit you know whatever but i think what i notice sometimes with my style is that i try to i don't know if it's because of like my job on social media or whatever but i always like hold back in my fashion like i um i'll be like oh, okay yeah like i don't want it to be like too loud or too much or too crazy but like i'll notice myself gravitating like towards like not like loud things but things that are like more fun so for example I was like oh I would love to do like a furry bucket hat with this outfit and my like the voice in my head that is like other people's voices would be like no that's like tacky it's like too much it's like not chic enough or whatever because I know that most people wouldn't won't like this hat but I like the hat so that's the point and I'm sure like so many of you are probably already in the comments like yeah the hat's not my taste not my style exactly like that's the point is that it's like my special little thing that doesn't really like make sense no one else would choose it but i would because it's like my um it's like what differentiates the look if that makes sense um and it's just fun like the hat when i put it on i'm like ee, like there it is you know i get really excited and pumped up so um i hate that i think that i feel like social media can even just within fashion make you nervous or like uh, more timid in your style just because you know people are going to comment on it and I'm so fucking over that because I am like sick of holding back like my real desires like what I want to wear even if like people don't like it so that's what I'm doing so I'm going to wear the hat I think because it's funky and cool and I needed some texture I was like I wanted some fur I actually grabbed my fur bags so i was like i need fur but now i think i might um uh, be able to adjust that now that i have on the fur hat so let's see here can it fit and slide it i do not will not da, 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 da. so i was gonna wear my fendi bag originally because i wanted some fur but now i feel like it doesn't really go so i'm gonna figure it out and then i'm gonna make a salad before i leave and then we're off i'm making my little salad niswa before I leave, so got my mixed greens, parsley, and some of my toppings. So I've got some red onion. I have to do that in there because a little flavor. Some tomatoes, green beans that are already cooked, egg that's already cooked, which actually I'm gonna chop these in half. Just so they're more bite sizey. Delish. Okay. And then we've got some olives. So I just get like a mix of Kalamata olives at Whole Foods. And then we've got our pre cooked potatoes. We'll just do a couple of those. Don't need too many, they get really filling. And then I don't have any um, tuna, but I actually have like a ton of salmon. So that's just what I'm gonna use for mine. And I think it'll be just fine, actually. Probably quite similar. So let's see here. Canned salmon. Look at you, I love this. I'm just gonna do like, I don't know, maybe half the can, just for a little, Protein. Yum, I'm sure that'll be good. Yeah, it kind of tastes like it. Same vibe. For dressing, I'm literally just going to take this dressing that we already have and I'm gonna add some Dijon to it and mix it in a cup, so. I like it like really Dijon-y. I have a baby spoon from when my sisters visited, so I'll do like a tablespoon of that. Mix it together. Mm. 
pop a lemon, and then we're just gonna toss her up. Yum, I love good salads like this. I was obsessed with niçoise when we were in France. I was like, I just have to recreate this vibe when I'm at home because I was like, it's like healthy and so good. You can just find things that you like to eat. You're golden. Healthy things, I mean, like, you know, that make you feel really good. It's like so delicious I could eat it probably once a day. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. Oh my god. Absolute perfection. Mm -mm -mm. Yum and deadly dumb. Mm -mm. I am just pulling up to the hair salon. Um, I ended up not wearing the hat. <laughs> LOL after all that. Only because um, I knew I was like going to take it off to get my hair done and then I'll put it back on. So didn't wear it, but uh, here we go. I'm going to get these babies moved up. Here we go. I mean, I think it's really cool that you get to do like you guys play around with a lot of like events, different types of things. Yeah. Like that's really fun. Yeah. Like seeing why not. Yeah. 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 Trial and error. See what totally. people like. Yeah. And, Nashville too, that's kind of the fun of the city, is like it's so new and growing that yeah. you can just try a bunch of stuff and yeah. everyone's really open to this I know. I extensions to match that that will feel the best i think so anyways okay i'm going to acupuncture now hunter and i have been going to acupuncture for a while he's been doing it for like a year i think hold on a second i don't know where i'm going turn right on to okay he's been doing it for a little over a year now because he had some back pain that started back in the texas house actually um and he just was like, you would love it. When I was having a lot of anxiety last year, um, he was like, you should just, you know, start going. Anyways, I think we've talked about it here on the vlogs before, but yeah, we're gonna go do a little acupuncture appointment. I haven't been in like a month, so it's just like good routine. Make sure that the energy's flowing, just helps you really balance everything out. Um, so we have acupuncture and then I need to figure out what I'm making for dinner. I don't really know. What's the vibe tonight? Let's see. So I had any swell salad for lunch. Um, we will do like tacos or something. Well, I would have to put in the crock pot, so. Ugh, see, this is like what happens when, like, at this point, like, I'm like, oh, I know we're going to get home late, and I'm like, I'd love to just go out. And I just default to that. It's really bad, but, um, I don't know why I get in that habit versus just cooking. I just am like, oh, it'd be fun to go out and like just get out and about. And I love like getting out on the town and just being around people and like that's part of it for me. So I would like that, but we'll figure something out. We all, well, I don't think that's actually gonna happen because we have to get some videos up. We have a lot of shit to do. So, anyhow, okay. I'm gonna drive to you guys at acupuncture. So, been to acupuncture and went home. Um, 
and I actually had to come back out because I needed to grab a few things since my makeup bag is missing and not here yet. Um, there are a couple of things that are really central that I just really wanted, so I went to Sephora and Ulta. Sephora, I just picked up some of the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Concealer. It's so, so good, I love it. Um, I love the foundation and I love the concealer. And then, um, but I haven't been minding using the CC cream, so I was like, I'm not gonna buy another foundation. And I think I have like a ton of the foundations at home. Um, so, the concealer though I really like, and I didn't have an extra. I also got it in a darker color to cream contour with. I'm very excited to try that out. And then I had to get to Ulta for a few things that Sephora just doesn't have. Uh, most importantly is my got to be um, hair gel. This stuff is what I use for my eyebrows and um, my last tube of it is in my suitcase that is missing and I literally, uh, two, three days without being able to gel my eyebrows, I'm like, losing my mind so <laughs> this stuff is literally like I don't leave the house without gelling my eyebrows I gel them for the gym like my brows are so thick that they like need to be gelled um so that was the first thing that I went to grab the next morning and I was like my eyebrow gel oh my god no so that is clutch um also my makeup sponges were getting kind of gross so I got some of these real techniques ones I feel like I go through them so fast that like I don't really like, know if it's like worth it to spend the money on the beauty blender ones. I mean, I think they are better, but I don't know. I just like like those ones. Um, I also my favorite dry shampoo at the moment is the Batiste um, volumizing dry shampoo. It's so good if you have really fine hair um, that gets greasy really quickly because it not only like really absorbs the oil, but it gives it like a little bit of body. Um, in a non-gross way like some of them are like overly sticky and like disgusting this one is so so good i love the formula and it is affordable so love that um i also in the bag is my soft brush that i do my like slick buns with or i'll do a ponytail with and i don't have um another brush at home and at this rate i just don't know if this suitcase is showing up so i'm like might as well just get ahead of it um, so, oh, hello, uh, pro smoothing brush. And so it's just like, I can really slick down my hair for buns. This is like my secret weapon. Um, just like a soft paddle brush like this. So this is going to be awesome. This one feels really nice too. And then lastly, I got, this is so random, but, um, this brand the Shea Moisture brand um, and this scent specifically the um, it's raw shea butter I don't know with frankincense and mirror I don't know what those scents are but it's the yellow line of the um, of the brand and the scent is literally like the best scent ever I don't know how to describe it it's not like fruity or anything it's like i don't know what it is it's just so lovely it's the most exotic scent i've ever smelt and it's just a drugstore product but i love it my sister one time like forgot her shampoo and went and like grabbed the shampoo of this scent um at the drugstore and used it and then we came out like she got in the shower and me and my mom were like what is that smell like we both were like oh, it smells so good and she's like oh this shampoo i just got and we were like oh my god so i because of the scent specifically, we'll buy like the body wash and I bought the lotion too. Um, and they're really great products for like dry skin. I think it's a black owned line, I think, which is cool. Um, and yeah, just really incredible. Um, and this, they just smell so good, but the products are really hydrating too. It's like for dry skin, so everything's super buttery and just amazing. Um, so yeah, that's what I got. And now I need to go get um, some flowers for the house. I really want to put some flowers in the vase on the island. So I'm headed to Trader Joe's and I am going to plug in my audiobook. I'm reading an audiobook right now, like listening to an audiobook on Audible. And I love it. It is so good. It's called A New Earth um, by, what's his name? Let's see. 
Um, Suck science? That's him. Um, Eckhart Tolle. It's like this. And I'm almost done with the book. I have like an hour left listening time. I downloaded it when I was on my vacation because I like heard some people talking about it on a podcast and it just sounded like so my vibe right now. I'm like really into spiritual growth and stuff like that. And it's about all about like um, awareness, everything. It's the same author that wrote um, The Power of Now, which is like all about living in the moment. This just goes a little bit deeper on our like life's purpose as like humans and um like his theory of like you know basically what we're here on earth to do and etc cetera, etc cetera. it goes into like the ego and um, awareness and all this stuff and I just if it sounds interesting to you then I would just dive in but I it's just like honestly blow my mind and I'm obsessed with it so I listen to it when I'm in the car I listen to like five hours of it on the airplane I think it was only seven hours total so um, I listen to it on the beach when I'm getting ready and I'm really like the audiobook vibe because you can just kind of like play it wherever you are kind of like a podcast um, so I'm really enjoying that I love actually reading like a hard book um, obviously like that is my favorite thing to do but I liked the audiobook just so when I'm out and about like you obviously always can't be like holding a paper book like when you're driving and stuff so I like to have something to listen to um, if I'm not listening to like music or a podcast or whatever so pretty cool and I'm really enjoying the book so so much so I'm gonna listen to that in reality you spend two years polluting your body as well as the earth with negative energy made yourself and those around you miserable and affected many others you never even met all right hopping into Trader Joe's let's see what kind of flowers they have it's not bad I'm not impressed oh let's see hmm those are nice hmm hmm I could do that. I could do a bunch of these. That'd be pretty. I'm literally gonna get all of them. Just make like a big stack in the base. That should work. Swat swat. Oh. Shoo, cutie baby. Okay, so got the flowers and I got a couple of things from Trader Joe's. So I'll show you guys some of my favorite things at TJ's. So, um, organic corn dippers. It's a yes for me. We love these. We get them all the time. These, um, now, these are like basically like, is it Takis? Are those those one chips? Takis? Yeah. Those like, yeah. yeah. Um, our friends Tiana and Sam are like talkies people and so I they got some in Mallorca when we were there and I was like these are fire so they were like the spicy ones but these are like the knockoff talkies anyways they were there so I was like I'm gonna get them shout out to G and Sam um, and then I wanted to just have some meats to make sandwiches with so I got some salami and some turkey the vegan pesto so good from Trader Joe's obsessed sliced provolone cheese just to like make sandwiches with and then this looked so good i it's like a feta olive pepper combo and i just love olives and feta and like yeah stuff like that so i just thought that looked really good then we got some fall items oh hunter i got you some peanut butter oh thank you yeah creamy peanut butter i found some in the shop today oh you did yeah. um i got the pumpkin flavored jojo's because you know we've got to get on the fall theme so i'm very excited about that and then also um, saw this caramel apple dipping kit and I just thought this would be so cute to do like one night hunter and I could do it. So it comes with like the nuts and sprinkles and the caramel and everything. And then you buy the apples separately. So I just got a couple of apples and I just thought that would be a fun little fall activity. So that's it, that's all I got. And um, I need to arrange the flowers and then make some dinner. So what do you find? What have you been doing, huh? What have you been doing? You're just so cute. Yet you are. Oh my gosh. What an adorable dog. It's too cute for me. I can't handle it. It's too cute.
Yummies. This is literally the easiest meal ever and it's so delicious. A little mayo. Uh-oh. Sriracha. Deep. 